clever cake. So, to begin this bear mask, we're going to take our plate and place it upside down on the table. Then near the centre, but just a little bit lower down, we're going to draw a triangle for the nose. And then we'll draw a line down and then cross over like that to the inside line. Then we will draw it out and then up here on the other side of the mask and then out like that. See? Ooh, bit, bit of line, just like that. So this is his large mouth. And then do the same here. So we'll take that line and we will draw it down like that and then around the outer edge like that and try and make them even so this one will also go out like that there we go so this is your bare face shape and then we're going to cut it out There we go, you have your upper face shape completed. And then we are going to create the bottom half of the mouth. So taking another paper plate, you will use your top half to create a template for the bottom half. So lay it on top where as it fits like that, and then you want to take your pen and just lightly draw like that. This will be your chin shape, your lower jaw. I'm going to add some zigzags to look like a furry chin. There we go. Then you can lift this off and bring it a bit higher and then draw which will be the upper lip of your bear like that. And then you could even add if you wanted some sharp teeth because when the jaw is lowered, you'll be able to see them. If you get the idea, so I'll put that on top. And when we move that jaw down, you'll see the teeth. There we go. So, just like before, you're going to want to cut this out. the two separate parts of your mask, the lower jaw and the upper part of your head. And then we're going to make the ears out of the leftover bit of paper plate that you have. And this is quite easy. So let's have a look at this for reference. And then you can just draw out some rounded ear shapes like this. I'm going to make them all fluffy like that. And then you want a bit extra like here. So this will be like a tab. 
and that will make it easier attaching them to the head. And then I'm also going to draw the inside like that. And then I want to draw another ear, very similar. the tab and then cut these out too. Now that you have all your pieces cut out, let's decorate and illustrate the bear's face a bit more. Um, so let's see, we could draw some eyes and make them even like that. And then depending on however you want your bear's mood to be, uh, it could be angry or happy or sad. I think I will have my bear be angry and fearsome, just like the bear in the book. And I'll just add some shine to the eyes. Add a bit more detail to the nose. There we go. So now, we can get to the colouring stage and I've got loads of colouring pencils here but you could use colouring pens if you wanted as well now that all your pieces are coloured in you can attach the ears and how we're going to do this is with a bit of glue and also with some staples so you take one ear and you will glue just this extra tab that we created and left here, you see? And then you want to stick it, there we go, on the underside of your plate, like that. See? And just stick it securely. And then for a bit of added strength, I'm going to take a stapler and just staple that ear on. There we go. You can see it's nice and secure. There we go. And then repeat with the other ear. So glue, glue, glue that tab and then try and mirror it. Now that looks about right. There we go. And fix that in place with some staples. One there and another one there. Okay, there and they are fixed on. We're going to create the eye holes so that you can see out of your mask. So what I want you to do is take these two fingers, your thumb and your first finger, and gently rest them underneath your eyes just so that you can roughly get the distance between them and keep that shape, that space in between and just lay them onto your eyes and mark them out with a pencil or pen. It's very faint but you can just see the mark here. And then you're very going to very carefully You'll need an adult for this part. Puncture a hole using your scissors. There you go, that's one. And then... And then that's two. And there we go. If you have a little flap like that, just cut it off. And just twist it again to make that hole big enough so that you can just see out of it. There we go. And that's your eye holes done. For this next step, you're going to need an adult to help you. It's a little bit difficult. So you want to put your jaw with your headpiece as it would rest with the mouth shut and then carefully turn it over, there we go, 
And then you're going to want to use a pen or a pencil to mark out here and here, just above the jaw. Because what you're going to do then is use one of your split pins to create a hole and twist it like that. There we go. And then turn it around and put that in the front. Like so. And then open it out. And then repeat that for the other hole here. Turn both split pins vertically and then tape the bottom half with some sellotape so that it doesn't move and doesn't spin around. So now you have these split pins put in. I'm going to turn it back around and put the jaw back on like that. And then when it's all aligned like that, you'll see directly underneath the pins here, you want to make another mark here on the lower jaw and also here on the lower jaw and then you're going to repeat that same process of using a split pin to make a hole And there you go, when you have both your split pins put in and fully spread and flattened, you can do the same thing optionally with the tape, though you have to put it on the top one this time. And then if you have any overlap with tape, just cut that away. There you go. Then we add the elastic bands, which will keep them together. These are a little bit loose, my ones, so I might double it up, as you can see, and then take this upper and upper pin, and then add stretch the elastic over the lower pin. See, like that. There we go. Then if you wanted, now that the elastic is in there, you can tape this one down. There we go, it'll keep it in place. And likewise for this lower one. You see, there we go. So you've got this mechanism. And then you'll repeat on the other side as well. Double that up. Loop it onto the top one. And then loop it onto the bottom one as well. There you go. And add tape if you want to. And there you go. If you turn it back around, can do you can do this chomp chomp there we go so all we have to do now is the last step which is adding some string or elastic onto the side so that you can wear it so if you have some elastic first you're going to want to measure and cut out a length which wraps around the back of your head from the top of your ear, so your temple, 
round the back of your head to the other top of your ear, the other temple. And you want it to be pulled a little bit, not too tight, but tight enough and pulled secure enough that it will keep a mask on your face. So once we have these parts, you will turn your mask over and in line with the eye holes, take your elastic and your stapler and you might need an adult to help you. Very carefully staple it on. I would staple it on at least twice and if you want even three times. Nice and secure. And then take your other your other side and you're gonna do the same thing. That's one. And then a couple more staples for good measure. Okay. And that's nice and secure. And if you have a string or ribbon and you want to use that instead, you'll do a very similar thing of stapling it onto either side, but it will be two pieces instead of this one elastic. And you'll give enough length, have enough spare length that you can tie it behind your head in a bow. And that's your bear mask complete. Goodbye.